We're standing at 116th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue. This was a major Jewish thoroughfare in the early years of the 20th century. We can imagine on Jewish holidays thousands of young men and women walking up and down these streets. Over my shoulder is one of the landmark synagogues of Jewish Harlem. It is Congregation Ohep Tzedek, a congregation that dates back to the 1870s on the Lower East Side. It moved up here in the first years of the 20th century. In 1916, it was this, one of the sites of the funeral of the great Yiddish writer Sholem Aleichem. The funeral started in the Bronx, went through Harlem, went to the Lower East Side, and ended up in Queens, a day-long service. In the 1920s, the Jews of Harlem were pulled to new neighborhoods in New York City. The synagogue here, which is now a church, the institutional synagogue, moved to the 70s on the west side. Its idea was to capture second generation youngsters who are falling away from the old synagogues of their parents and to attract them to modern synagogue life. And the hook was, you come to play and you stay to pray. The institutional synagogue had art classes, music classes, a dance hall, a library, and a pool, as well as a gymnasium. And the idea was that young men and young women would come for these secular activities and then be convinced to stay later for services and to be more observant Jews. In a number of the synagogues, we still see some of the iconography of those old days, but the Jewish life of Harlem, the early Jewish life of Harlem, was over by 1930. And now, we begin to see the efflorescence of synagogue life, of Jewish communal life, as Jews are sinking roots in Harlem once again.